everybody. Technoli here, back with another video, and we have got the USB port mapping, as you already know from the title of the video. We're using the Gigabyte Z490 Vision D motherboard to do this video and uh, doing the port mapping on it. You guys remember this from a couple years ago. Uh, by the way, we'll be doing um, newer motherboards in the next couple weeks. Um, hopefully be doing the 7Z790 series. So any of you guys that want to get into newer stuff, that'll be great. We also have some very cool broken computers coming in and being fixed. So, uh, as you remember, on my website, I have free PC repair, and I've got a couple of guys that have sent me some stuff that we're going to get fixed, and uh, that'll be fun. So, back at the Gigabyte. So, this is the Z490, and uh, this was a great board because this had Thunderbolt on it, and so we're going to go ahead and do the USB port mapping on this. Now, I will have the EFI folder for this Z490 on my uh, downloads page at technoli.com for you guys to use. Now, it will have the port mapping already done for you, so you won't have to worry about it. So, this is just showing you how I do port mapping. There are different ways to do port mapping. This is the way I do it. This is what I find is uh, easiest. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this. So let's assume that you have built your own EFI and it is now booted up. You've got the computer done. It, it was successful. And you've got the EFI folder transferred over to the hard drive on your new Hackintosh. And you've got to get the USB ports working because let me show you with Hacking Tool. You can download this tool on my website on the download page or just do a Google search. We click on USB and as you notice here, all we show here are USB 2s and one USB 3 port. So we're missing a bunch of US 3s. We're also missing the two Thunderbolt ports on this board. So we got a lot of work to do. Now, since all we can see are USB 2s, what I'm going to do is take a USB thumb drive, just a USB 2 thumb drive, and that typically will be black on the end of it, not blue. So if you're trying to do this, make sure you have a USB 2 device to test all of your ports. So all we're going to do is we're going to take that USB stick and plug it into every single port USB port on this motherboard, including the front. Um, we're not going to worry about the Thunderbolt now because we can't even see them. We just want to find out which HS ports, which are USB 2, are the ones that show up from the motherboard. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, and when I come back, we'll see what was filled in here, and we'll continue. Okay. So I'm back. Now, as you'll notice, every place that it turned green means that there was a USB device plugged into the port. So what does that mean? It means we're going to eliminate some of these USB 2s. So we have a maximum of 15 USB ports because that's all that is allowed by Mac OS. So, what we have to do is add USB inject doll into our KEX folder on this EFI, and we also have, have to make a check on the uh, config.plist. So, let's go ahead, open up OC Auxiliary Tools, and we'll go ahead and click here, and we're going to mount the EFI. All right, there it is. And the first thing we're going to do is go down here to kernel 
and then click on Quirks and put a check right here on this XHCI port limit. Go ahead and turn that on. We'll go back over here and we need to add this text into the EFI folder. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Go over here to computer, go into the EFI, and we'll add it to our quirk, our kex. Okay, there we go. Now, normally, OC Auxiliary Tools does pick up something when you plug it in or when you put it in the folder. So it did find it, so we're good. We have to save now. And then we're going to reboot the computer, and we should be able to see our USB 3s. All right, let's go ahead and reboot. Okay, guys, we're back up. Let's go ahead and log back in. And let's check with Hack and Tool and see if I'm right. Okay, so now we click on USB, and we can see all kinds of stuff here. That's a bunch. All right, so where are my Thunderbolt ports? Okay, because they're not showing. Well, let's go into the BIOS on this board and make sure that Thunderbolt is turned on. We'll start tapping the delete key to get into the BIOS. All right, let's go over here to settings, I.O. ports. Go down here to Thunderbolt. And it is disabled, so let's enable it. Now for Hackintosh Thunderbolt to work, we have to set this to no security. And then go ahead and come down here to discrete Thunderbolt configuration. And let's enable GPIO 3 forced power, okay? And then let's save and exit. We'll come back up, and we should be able to see our Thunderbolt ports. Okay, coming back up. All right, let's log back in. See if we have everything we need. There we go. And right here, SSPI, uh, or P P1 and SSP2, those are the Thunderbolts. All right, so this is great. Now we can see everything now that we need to to figure out what we're going to be using. Well, we know we're going to use all of these HS ports, okay? So um, we, we're just going to leave that alone. But you say, why don't we just put this in and turn on the XHCI port limit in the config.p list from the beginning? If you do that, then when you put a USB 2 device in one of these ports, it won't show up. Because right now, as far as this Hackintosh is concerned right now, these ports don't work. But we know because it turned green that these are the ones that we selected before. So we know we're good. But now we're going to take a USB 3 device and plug it into every USB 3 on this board. And we're going to plug a device into the Thunderbolt so we can see ports we're going to be using. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back and as you can see I got a bunch of new green things here. So these are ports that we know we want to use. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of the ones that are not highlighted. So you can just click on them and then hold down uh, Alt I think it is and just get rid of them like this. And then hit this minus button. Okay. And I forgot this one here at the top. All right, now we can have a maximum of 15 ports. So we want to make sure that all we have is 15 here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we need to get rid of two ports. So when you're plugging in your USB 
two port, it's a really good idea to have a picture of the back of the motherboard so you know which ports were which. I know there's two ports on here that I really don't care about. They're two black ports on the back of the board and they're just USB 2's. So HS09 and HS10 I can get rid of. Now those black ports now will be turned off so you won't be able to, if you plug something in you're going to be like why aren't they working because we turned them off. So I'm going to click there and now I've got 15 ports. All right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we're good. So all we have to do now is click right here to export. And we're going to grab our USB ports.kex. But we have to open back up our EFI so we can add it. So we'll go ahead and click. Open it up. Password. And we'll just go over here real quick. Um, and now we can get rid of we can get rid of the um, USB inject all text. So let's get rid of that. Let's add this one in. All right. Go back out of here. We'll go over here to kernel and notice that this wonderful program already saw the USB ports.kext and it took out the USB inject all. So we're good there. Now let's don't forget to click on quirks and uncheck the XHCI port limit. Okay, we'll save it. Go ahead and close out of here. Restart the computer, and we'll see what we have left. All right, coming back up. Let's log back in. We'll use Hacking Tool. And we'll see. Everything is fine. Let's do a uh, clear all and then a refresh. And here are our ports. So we're good now. We got 15 ports. Uh, Thunderbolt is turned on. Everything is good to go. We can use USB 2, 3, or whatever we want. I'm going to go ahead and plug in a USB 2 SIC so you can see that these are working. All right, let's see here. And there we go. HS04 just popped up. And um, so we've got our USB ports. We're good to go. So there you go, guys. It's not a horrible process. And sometimes you run into problems. And I will warn you that it is even possible that some motherboards would be so difficult to do or would not this this particular um, way of doing it may not work and what you may need to do is install Catalina do your port mapping and then you'll have your text and then install Ventura okay or Monterey or Big Sur whatever you like so there you go I hope this helps I really appreciate you guys watching Please subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to build the channel back up, as you well know. And uh, we want to get to, uh, you know, 50,000 pretty soon, I would love. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later.